And it was neither an experience in which I was comfortable nor in which I had much fun or honestly in which I did particularly well. But there was clearly something within that experience that really attracted me. And reflecting upon what that was, I think it was this level of agency in decision making that where I grew up as a suburban kid outside of Seattle. Life wasn't really that hard. I didn't have that much struggle in my life. And in the mountains, I found this thing that asked more of me than anything in my life ever had. And there was also like very clear lessons that I was learning in real time. And I wanted more of those lessons. I wanted more of that agency. And also it, it's like, it has to be said that the Alpine landscape is one of the most beautiful landscapes on earth and going back to the mountains just to see them and feel them and hear them is something that I think really resonated then and, and still does to this day. What, going right back, Graham, to your childhood, what did you want to be when, when you grew up? Did you have visions of getting into the wild and into the mountains? That's an interesting question. I think that the the standout answer is that I wanted to be a paleontologist. Probably till I was nearly in high school, I thought that would be a really cool thing to do. And then, and when I really discovered outdoor recreation, like before I discovered climbing, I started skiing and snowboarding. There's a really great tradition of like school buses full of kids <laughs> going up to the mountain here in the Pacific Northwest and across a lot of parts of the United States that I was very much part of kind of a, honestly, a more accessible version of skiing and snowboarding than we see in a lot of the world today. But that was something that I did and I really enjoyed. And I actually ended up working as a snowboard instructor for a bunch of years and really discovered a lot about myself in that space, which is also, of course, in the mountains. And I really super, super enjoyed that. And it was like through that, that I ended up going to going climbing. And, but it was interesting, like, I would say that when I was 16 years old, I was very focused on snowboarding. I was something I was like I was a professional instructor. I was like advancing and doing good things and really enjoying myself. And by the time I was 18, I had given up snowboarding because skiing was what was what you needed to use in order to get around the mountains for climbing. And climbing was just about all I was doing. So to say that climbing pretty quick, pretty quickly eclipsed all the other kind of outdoor recreation <laughs> that I was taking on, I think would be pretty fair.